craft of Breeden. I am Jessalyn. Let's dive into what's new in DevTools in Chrome 102. First up, a new preview feature. Use the new Performance Insights panel to get actionable and use case-driven insights on your website's performance. This cockpit photo is exactly how the majority of us developers feel when working with performance analysis, especially with the existing performance panel. Over and over, we see developers struggle when working on the performance panel. It feels like the performance panel just gives you a whole bunch of information and lets you figure out what to fix. It is probably fine if you are a performance expert that knows the ins and outs of how a browser works. However, for many of us, we just want to get some actionable feedback on what to fix and be able to analyze performance based on a certain use case, like improving the page load or analyze the interactivity. Let's take a look at the new Performance Insights panel to see how it can help you with that. Open the Performance Insights panel via More Options, More Tools, Performance Insights. Disable the cache and click on Measure Page Load to identify the potential improvements on the page load use case. More use cases will be supported in the future based on your feedback. You can provide your feedback here. Once the page load is complete, you can see the Web Vitals metrics at the top. I like these metrics because they give me a quick overview of my page load performance. I can hover over each of them to know what the score is about. Not only that, we can replay the performance recording to understand how our page is loaded visually. You can turn off the screenshot to focus on the main track. In the Insights pane, it shows us a list of key insights of our page. You can hover over the item to highlight them on the main track. Even better, you can click on the item to understand the issues and get actionable feedback on how to fix it or drill down further to understand the details like network requests and timing. Go to google.gov slash devtools performance to learn more. I have a video to walk you through how to debug the page load performance with this new panel as well. Make sure you check that out. Next, you can now emulate the light and dark themes quicker with the new shortcuts in the Styles pane. In the Styles pane, there is a new icon added next to the filter bar. Click on it and change your preferred color scheme. This is not a new feature. You can click on the three dot menu, select Run Command, Type Scheme, and change the color scheme. With this new shortcut, it makes it even easier for you to access these options. Next, DevTools now applies the Content Security Policy, CSP, in the Network Panel's Preview tab. For example, this demo page contains mixed content. The page is loaded over a secure HTTPS connection, but the style sheet is loaded over an insecure HTTP connection. The browser blocks the style sheet's request by default because it weakens the security of the entire page. However, when you open the page via the Preview tab in the Network Panel, the style sheet was not blocked previously. The page's background color changes to red due to the CSS in the style sheet. It looks different from the page. With the latest changes, DevTools applied the CSP to the Preview tab and the view is now consistent with the browser. Next, an improvement on reloading at breakpoint. The debugger now terminates script execution when reloading at breakpoint. For example, this is a very basic React application. Try to set a breakpoint on the React DOM and refresh the page to pause at the breakpoint. When you perform remote debugging in other IDEs like Visual Studio Code and WebStorm, it is common to reload the debugger to trigger the breakpoint. Let's simulate that by reloading DevTools with Ctrl R in Windows and Linux or Command R in macOS. The Sources panel is broken. 
the experience is broken as well if you debug in other IDEs, and that is not great. This issue happens because the debugger tried to continue to execute JavaScript previously, and that caused an endless loop in the execution, and that broke the renderer. With the latest changes, the debugger now terminates script execution after reloading at breakpoint instead of continuing to execute JavaScript. Here is a bonus tip. Do you know there are multiple ways to capture screenshots in DevTools? Say, you want to capture a screenshot of this card element, you can inspect that in the Elements panel and right-click Capture Node Screenshot to capture it. Optionally, there are more screenshot options in the command menu. Type screenshot in the menu and you can see four options. The Capture Node Screenshot is similar to what we performed just now. Select the Capture Screenshot option to capture the current browser view. If you want to capture the full page screenshot, including the content not visible in the viewport, use the Capture Full Size Screenshot option. And if you want to customize your screenshot area, use the Capture Area Screenshot option. Select the area you want to capture, and there you go. Besides that, there are options to capture the device mode screenshot as well. Toggle the device mode and click on the three dot menu. Here, you can select the screenshot options. All right, there are more new features covered in my blog post. And as usual, the link is in my video description. Thanks for watching. See you in four weeks for Chrome 103. Ciao!